Today's Catholic Mass readings and reflections, July 16, 2022, Saturday of the 15th week in ordinary time. Personal Reflection Jesus gained faith in God by going through and surviving the trials of his life. He made a plea for assistance and submitted to the mystery of suffering that was bestowed upon him. How are we faring in the journey of our lives? Please hit the like button if you enjoy the video's content. Please share with your friends. Please share on Facebook, WhatsApp and Telegram groups. If you have any prayer requests, please leave them in the comments section. If this is your first time watching, please subscribe and click the bell icon. Please help us grow our channel by offerings. Thank you. First reading, a reading from the prophet Micah, chapter 2, verses 1 to 5. O to those who plan iniquity and work out evil on their couches. In the morning light they accomplish it when it lies within their power. They covet fields and seize them, houses and they take them. They cheat and honor of his house, a man of his inheritance. Therefore, thus says the Lord, Behold, I am planning against this race an evil from which you shall not withdraw your necks. Nor shall you walk with head high, for it will be a time of evil. On that day a satire shall be sung over you, and there shall be a plaintive chant. Our ruin is complete. Our fields are portioned out among our captors. The fields of my people are measured out, and no one can get them back. Thus, you shall have no one to mark out boundaries by lot in the assembly of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response Real Psalm. Your response. Do not forget the poor, O Lord. Why, O Lord, do you stand aloof? Why hide in times of distress? Proudly the wicked harass the afflicted. Who are caught in the devices the wicked have contrived. Your response, do not forget the poor, O Lord. For the wicked man glories in his greed, and the covetous blasphemes, says the Lord at naught. The wicked man boasts, he will not avenge it. There is no God, sums up his thoughts. Your response, do not forget the poor, O Lord. His mouth is full of cursing, guile and deceit. Under his tongue are mischief and iniquity. He lurks in ambush near the villages. In hiding, he murders the innocent. His eyes spy upon the unfortunate. Your response, do not forget the poor, O Lord. You do see, for you behold misery and sorrow, taking them in your hands. On you the unfortunate man depends. Of the fatherless, you are the helper. Your response, do not forget the poor, O Lord. The acclamation, Alleluia, Alleluia. God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. Alleluia, Alleluia. Gospel. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew chapter 12 verses 14 to 21. The Pharisees went out and took counsel against Jesus to put him to death. When Jesus realized this, he withdrew from that place. Many people followed him and he cured them all, but he warned them not to make him known. This was to fulfill what had been spoken through Isaiah the prophet. Behold, my servant whom I have chosen, my beloved in whom I delight. 
I shall place my spirit upon him and he will proclaim justice to the Gentiles. He will not contend or cry out, nor will anyone hear his voice in the streets. A bruised reed he will not break, a smoldering wick he will not quench, until he brings justice to victory. And in his name the Gentiles will hope. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's reflection on the readings. Isaiah's words in the Gospel reading are a beautiful illustration of calm and gentleness. It contains a potent lesson about justice and peace. It teaches us to follow Jesus' example whenever we encounter situations of the same nature. The fact that people who are envious, aggressive and vindictive spend valuable time attempting to steal our tranquilly and are equally unsetting to their minds and hearts is a very clear indication of this. Let's remain hopeful and put our faith in God because our hardships and suffering will be worthwhile. Even those who have a propensity for evil actions have a purpose. And God is aware of what that purpose is. Let us entrust God with our need for justice as he entrusts to us the message of hope and reconciliation. In light of today's gospel, can we honestly assess a capacity to choose selflessness, peace and humility in the face of suffering? Let's pray for one another's continued increase in faith in the Lord and increased receptivity to his healing and salvation. Pray. We are grateful to you, Lord Jesus, for giving us healing and the good news of hope. Lord, when we are tempted to feel alone or abandoned, comfort us with your peace and presence. Please make it easier for us to seek out your trust and peace as a gift. And comfort us with your atoning love. When we are in grief or when we are feeling overburdened, discouraged or disheartened. Lord, ignite the same passion in our hearts as you do so that we may hear and comprehend the cries of the poor around us in our homes, neighborhoods and the wider world. As per your will and plan, free us from all fear and anxiety and use us for your mission. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.